Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about axioms of probability and properties of probability in probability and statistics course. First of all, we have to know about what is axiom in the probability. An axiom is a statement that can be considered as true. An axiom is also called as postulate. Now we can go for what are the axioms of probability. Suppose we are taking an event A. The probability of that event A is always greater than or equal to 0. Second point, the probability of the entire sample space that is P of S is equal to 1. Third point, if A and B are two mutually exclusive event, then we can say that there is no common element between that two events. That means A intersection B is equal to 0. Next one, A and B are two mutually exclusive events, then the probability of A or R B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. Okay. So, when A and B are two mutually exclusive events, then P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B. Here, A intersection B is equal to 0. Next point. We are taking some events A1, A2, A3, etc. These are some events. These events are called as disjoint events. Then, probability of A1 union A2 union A3 is equal to probability of A1 plus probability of A2 plus probability of A3. So, these are the axioms of probability. Now, we can go for properties of probability. First one, probability of A bar is equal to 1 minus probability of A. Here, 1 is nothing but probability of the sample space. That is, P of S is equal to 1. From that total sample space, we have to subtract the probability of A. So, hence, we can say that P of A bar is equal to 1 minus P of A. Second one, probability of null set, that is pi. P of pi is equal to 0. That means probability of the empty set or a null set is equal to 0. Third point, if A subset equal to B, then probability of A also subset equal to probability of B. Next, fourth point, if A is an event, the probability of that event always lies between 0 and 1. That can be represented as 0 less than or equal to P of A less than or equal to 1. That means A is an event. Probability of that event P of A is always lies between 0 and 1. Next point. Probability of a union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Whenever A and B are two mutually exclusive event, this term becomes 0. Only P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B. If A and B are not mutually exclusive events, then P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Next, sixth point. 
probability of a minus b is equal to probability of a minus probability of a intersection b. Seventh one, probability of b minus a is equal to probability of b minus probability of a intersection b. Okay, so these seven can be called as properties of probability. These five can be called as axioms of probability. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divvela Srinivasarao. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.